What's going on guys? More of a chill video here today. I just woke up and saw the HD client update from Jagex, which reads, we hear your feedback loud and clear and we absolutely intend to act on it. Following conversations today with 117 Scape and Adam from Moonlight, we are exploring options on how we can work together to offer 117 Scape's plugin as a bridge until our own version is ready for release. I think this is quite a cool idea that 117 Scape's plugin will be used as sort of a beta test for the main game. However, I would have liked to see 117 Scape's plugin stay for the long term for people who really, really loved it. But I suppose if Jagex wants to make theirs to look pretty much like his, maybe the exact same, then it probably wouldn't be a bad idea as 117 will definitely be shaping the future of old school. And it's good to see that even though things were looking really, really grim for him at one point, that the community was able to come together and actually turn this around for him. So good job everyone, everyone who made their voices heard, everyone who canceled their memberships in protest of this, just really great stuff from the community. It goes on to read, we know we need to do better in providing a clearer vision for our own client. Why we made this decision and what this means to the game and the community in the longer term. We will start to do this over the coming days. We'll continue to update you as we work to a resolution that works for all. Thank you for your support, the old school team. While this reads nicely, uh, it's not necessarily that we need a clear revision for their own client, it's that people who are building plugins for the game, especially one of just graphical changes, they need to know earlier than the day of release that it is not okay. For those of you who do not know, 117 spent 2,000 hours building his plugin, uh, that was over the course of two years, which is just an insane amount of time to build something. And the day that it was going to release, Jagex just decided to shut it down because they didn't want to deal with it anymore. It was pretty clear that they knew that he was doing this as well over the course of two years. I mean, people were really excited for it, so it was probably pretty hard to miss. So yeah, this whole point, is, it's not as much about your vision for your own client, it's about keeping in touch with people who are building plugins and letting them know if they should even bother spending so much time on doing something, especially when you know about it. So I think they should have probably brought that up, but who knows what they're talking about behind closed doors. Maybe they've had a conversation about this with 117 and Adam from Moonlight and uh, maybe it's all good. So I just wanna to quickly touch on maybe what this means for the future of HD. Um, clearly, as we know, the 117 Scape plugin on Runelight is just going to be sort of a beta test for Jagex's own HD client. So I'm assuming that Jagex will work closely with Adam and 117 Scape to create the sort of vision that they're looking for. And hopefully that stays true to what 117 had because it actually looks really, really nice. 117 didn't really touch the animations for the player or the character models. He more just shaped the world with new textures and he added some lighting effects. Honestly, I do not know the extent of development for something like this, but just from a visual standpoint, that's pretty much what it looked like was textures and lighting effects. I would honestly love to see the player models get an update as well. That may change the game feel of Old School RuneScape, which is probably something that they do not want to mess with at all. So uh, animations may have to stay and the character models may have to stay the same as well. It would be interesting to hear what people think about that, whether they want to see them get an update as well or just leave them be. So then when Jagex is ready to release their own client, what happens to 117? Do they just transfer it over to theirs? Which can't really happen because as far as I'm aware, Jagex want to release this for their C++ client, whereas 117 and Runelight is still on the Java code. So I'm assuming they're just going to dump 117 on Runelight when their own client's ready to be released, which is interesting to hear. And I'm not sure how the community will necessarily react to that either. I think that might be a bit of a shit show as well, but we'll have to see how that plays out in the long run. So I want to pose a question to you guys. Do you think that this is a win? I think that Justice for 117 has been for the most part fulfilled. I think that the community has done a great thing to get his HD plugin back into the community and possibly ready for use like really, really soon. Or do you think it's sad that they're going to dump 117 when their HD is ready for use? 
Or do you just think it's great that 117 and Adam get to work with RuneScape and shape the look and feel of RuneScape in the future? I think it's great that Jagex has decided to work with him. However, I honestly would love to see 117 stay for the long term because I don't see myself or many others who are using RuneLight just switching. And look, maybe people will. Maybe people will see uh, the main client as a great thing to use in the future, but uh, it's so, so far behind. It's just, you, you can't really see it happening yet. And the community obviously really loves RuneLight, so it's, uh, it's difficult. I don't think people will make the change. Anyway, that wraps this video up. So if you like this video, maybe consider hitting subscribe. You don't have to. And uh, like if you like, dislike if you didn't. Thanks guys, catch ya.